Hi. I'm here today with Stuart Mullins. Hi, Stuart. Hi. Thanks for joining me today. Um, should we start out with, tell me a bit more about your background, why you came to work with the University It's Project. a really good question, actually. I, uh, I used to run a company, a theatre company called Theatre Is, that was based at College Lane in the Innovation Centre. Mm -hmm. uh, and Stephanie Granger, who was Associate mm -hmm. Dean here at the School of Humanities, uh, invited me to come and do some lecturing, really, uh, partly because the theatre company was moving out and going to another uh, creative space, but also because I think she kind of recognised expertise in certain parts of uh, what I would call applied theatre. Mm -hmm. That's the stuff that goes on outside of theatres, but in communities. Uh, and initially, she, um, she wanted me to come and teach that, but then uh, as she did less, I did more, and in the end, I've ended up being the subject coordinator for acting and screen performance and teaching most of the modules, really. Okay. But my actual background is as an actor, uh, theatre director, theatre producer. My life as an actor was film, television, radio, adverts, all of those things. My work now is increasingly engaging with areas of social justice, looking at very specific um, needs, requirements. Uh, I'm currently just launching a project that is looking at the inter interjection between refugees and young people in uh, economically deprived areas and adapting a book around that story. So, yeah, that's, that's where I'm at now, and I, and, and I continue to lecture here. Uh, and I suppose, slightly by default, I've ended up finding myself in the world of academia and, and doing some research as well. Mm -hmm. So, so what kind of, tell me a bit more about your research. That's quite fascinating. Um, which, I, th I, th take I think there's, there's two things worth talking mm -hmm. about. There's the work that I've been doing which enables other researchers to take their research mm -hmm. and develop the outcomes and the impacts of that. And mm -hmm. that's through a project that I originally initiated with UH Arts and the Heritage Hub here at the School of Humanities, which is about bringing uh, uh, an artist, an artist that works in performance, and uh, theatre uh, and circus, um, so different artists from different backgrounds uh, and, and matching them to a research or, or finding that both the research and the artist have an, a mutual area of interest and could go on a journey together. And uh, partly funded through the Heritage Hub, we've been able to bring uh, three uh, different researchers and different types of practitioners okay. together and do some research and development that could then lead on to a whole performance being built around a researcher's uh, evidence, mm -hmm. essentially. Um, and that has been a, a fantastic journey for both the artists who suddenly are exposed to a level of material, in-depth material, that they wouldn't normally have access to, uh, and being inspired by that. And I think in a way that begins to challenge their ability as an artist uh, both around form and content. And for the researcher, it suddenly made them think about the research in ways they never, ever thought they would think of. Uh, and, and that's been, for me, actually the most exciting thing, because, yes, I am an artist and I am an academic, uh, but it's just seeing the researcher firstly feel like their research matters, because mm -hmm. I think sometimes yeah. researchers work in a way that they kind of go, it's just me that's interested yeah. in this and nobody else, mm -hmm. which I'm sure with some research might be true, <laughs> but actually it makes them go, uh, wow, this really fantastic circus practitioner is interested in me and what I'm doing and what I'm excited by. Uh, and then they suddenly see the potential of the fact that the performance aspect could mean that their research ends up in forums and in contexts they never imagined would happen. Uh, uh, it, it, with you know beyond maybe she, maybe publishing a paper, I don't know, writing a book, presenting at a conference. Yeah. I don't think they ever imagined that suddenly their ideas and their research could end up on a stage in front of an audience of I don't know 500 people possibly. Yeah. You know, so I think that's what's really exciting for them. Yeah. Um, and then from a very personal point of view, yeah. I've been supported to research uh, one of those areas that I mooted before around social mm -hmm. justice, looking very specifically at the world of young carers, uh, children and young people. And, and when I say children, I'm you know, thinking of some that I've met that are as young as four years of age, oh, okay. who uh, have spent most of their life, if not all their life, caring for a member of their family, whether oh. that be a mother, father, brother, sister, who may have a physical or mental illness that is happening over a long-term basis. Uh, and the impact of that, and, and recognising that actually there's probably many, many uh, young people and children who are doing this that remain unsupported. Mm -hmm. And to create a piece of theatre based 
around the stories we've heard in our research. Um, and, and, and I was specifically funded to look at the impacts that the work would have on a young carer. So if a young carer is in an audience mm. and they are currently hidden from either the support of their teachers or the local authority or a local voluntary sector organisation, if they're sitting in the audience watching this piece of theatre that is about their life, so to speak, what would be their emotional and physiological response to that? And I was able to, through the support um, of the school, I was able to actually uh, evidence that by working with a group of young carers by saying, if you were sitting in an audience of 90 in a year group in a school, what would you be feeling now at certain points through the play? Mm. Which allowed me to develop the piece and also understand what we needed to do to support young carers, mm. which was really useful. Well, it's fascinating. I mean, it's an excellent example of how actually the work and the research and what you're kind of doing in the academic can have a massive impact on yeah. the kind of life outside. Yeah. Absolutely, outside. yeah, absolutely. And, you know, isn't that what research is meant to do? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Um, as always, you can find out more about that on the website. And uh, Stuart, thanks for Thank talking you. to me today. Pleasure. Thank you.